I am not mistaken if I say that New York has been, in a certain way, the city of my first times, the first airplane I ever took, the first subway, the first Halloween, the first Thanksgiving, the first autumn, the first time in front of masterpieces by Delacroix and Van Gogh, the first time I saw the snow. All those stories have as a common denominator this city that never sleeps. And that was our war. No gunfire, no explosions, just frightened husband and father chained to a water pump waiting to die right outside of backyard. I don't remember anyone in neighborhood ever mentioning this incident again, but the victim remained and still remains in the thoughts and prayers of me and my family. And I guess in this case, that has to be enough. Although the little wooden box was made of strong wood, it was very comfortable to sit there. I don't know why, maybe because that place gave me a sense of being alone, but at the same time accompanied by my family around the house, my grandparents cooking the meal, my uncles studying or listening to music, my mother cleaning, and of course thinking about my father returning home to take me out to drink a Coca-Cola with a soda cran cr cr uh, cracker. How many people do you know who got married twice with the same groom or bride, and still better, with the first wedding in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and the second in New York, the United States, in front of the Brooklyn Bridge, one of the most famous places in the city? Somebody that you know did it? <laughs> yep. The, Definitely, we can't compare our marriage with the classic script. Our relationship is more a non-linear narrative, and this is what I love about our My name sounds different when his voice call, calls. His, vo his voice was the warmth to my heart, the home of my soul. His voice runs deep in my ears, just, just like a river running in the forest. Sometimes I wish his voice was recorded and I could hear it all the day nonstop. I miss my father's voice. My grandmother passed away in 2018. However, I still remember when she told me about this flower gas. Nobody should take away anyone's rights. Even animal and vegetation should be treated in a human way, even though I miss her every day. I will forever be grateful for my grandmother's place in my childhood memory. When you meet someone and you don't have enough trust yet, you ask them, bitter or with sugar? If they answer the same way you take it, then trust establishes the relationship. Germa Mate is something that is never missing in a house, even in times of inflation or poor economy. If you don't have it, you can borrow it from your neighbor. Rex, there's something about you that's extra special. You're stubborn and strong. I love listening to people in the neighborhood talk about you. You've changed the lives of everyone who's met you. I've watched humans who didn't know that they could love dogs ended up loving you. You've got attitude, Rex, and that's what people love about you. Many people have bad images of black cats because of witches. However, I like cat black cats. Besides, the cat made me happy, so I called the cat Rack, short for Rocky Saturday's cat. Actually, when I met Rock, I didn't have any friends yet in this city. I had just moved here. I was really lonely. I felt I had a new friend. The crystal water plays with the tonalities of the immense open sky and the light of the sun so intense and so radiant. This water purifies my soul of all the pain that one day I could have. My body welcomes the air.
The warmth of the sun touched my back and I felt protected as if it were my father's hug. A mountain, a huge mountain, full of sunflowers, roses, and trees. Nothing could break it until a strong wind came and spread stones all over the forest. Someone broke it down the middle, broke my family, my family members. The word came and spread us all over the world. The farewell began on May 3rd, 2017. A suitcase full of feelings and a heart divided into a thousand pieces were my witness. I decided to live in search of tranquility and peace, in search of a place that would be my near refuge, far from that chaos in which one could breathe such anguish, fear, and disappear. My mother, father, older sister, and cousin became the teachers and taught math, religion, history, writing, and reading. I was 12 years old in one of the students too, but because I had lived in Pakistan, I had studied English. So I taught the students the little English I knew. During the first month, almost 300 girls and boys came to the study. At the lunchtime, boys could play soccer and girls could play volleyball in the garden in the state of the streets. Everyone was happy with our school, even though everyone was still worried about the Taliban. I know you can hardly imagine your happy future as you live in 300 square foot apartment with your family on the outskirts of Kyiv without enough money for food or clothes. I'm begging you not to stop dreaming. Everything will come true. Thanks to your lust for life and fearless spirit, even without an, exp ex an expensive education and connections, you will grow into a big shot working with celebrities from TV and magazines. I understood that I had transformed some time ago, and I was a little bird that a dream I was human. Dream I was a little bird. I flew to my home, and everyone had become accustomed to life without me. My husband and my daughters were following their daily routines, I tried to call, but my voice was a lilting song. How to make them understand that I was there? I spent a Christmas at a nursing home. It was the worst time of my life. Not being able to call my mom, not being able to move or cry. My illness was getting the better of me. The spirit of Christmas I was able to see, telling me, chill, everything's going to be all right. I said, leave me alone. This is not even your fight. He said that my body was very strong, that I would recover in no time. I will never forget everything my family and I have lived. There were a lot of things happening, but my amazing mother, Johanny, found a way to see God's love in every bad situation. She learned that from her mother, Mercedes, who with an amazing heart and a strong faith raised all her children beautifully. Here in New York, I have been writing specifically to not lose track of who I really am. As an immigrant, I find it more and more complicated to locate myself while I roll from one culture to another, shaking the most of my identity surface whenever a new aspect suddenly appears. I have also been writing to re reconceptualize what culture, belonging, longing and loving are. 